Hi everyone, welcome you all to the YouTube channel of Discuss NIT. Myself, Mayur from third year CS NIT, and today I'm going to discuss the problem in an error sorting that came in code for round 865 division 2. So the question is uh, basically has an array of size n, and we have to make the array in a non-decreasing order. And the only operation that is allowed is like we can choose any two adjacent elements and increase both of them by one or decrease both of them by one, as mentioned here. Now it is also allowed that the elements of the array can become negative. For example, here if we take a look at the example like one, three, two, here you can see that like uh, the last two elements those are increased by one. That is three two becomes four three, and now the whole array is in non-decreasing order. So the we have to only say like whether it is possible to change the array to transform the array to a non-decreasing order or not. If it is possible, then we will output yes else no. Here, if we take a look at the second example, 2, 1, you can see that like whether we decrease or increase the pair, we can never change them to a non-decreasing order. Hence, the answer is no. Now, this is kind of an ad hoc type problem. So, there is no like uh, pre-made algorithms or like that. We have to think on the spot. Now, I will share my thought process here, like how I thought. So, I've taken a look at the example. Like this is a better example, also a bigger one. So, and also the answer is yes. So I've taken this example to analyze like how actually we can do this. So if I write the numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's assume that like uh, I will just increase the numbers now. Now it is 5. So for this 4, 3, those have, to, those have to be changed to at least 5, 4. So that this one and this one becomes same. Means at least those two numbers are in proper order. So what I will do, I will just change them to 5, 4. Now coming to this part, I have to change them again. So I will just increase them to 5, 3. So this will become 5, 3. 5, 3. Now I will take this part and then increase them by 2. That is, I will apply the operation twice. So this will become this will become 5, 3 from 3, 1. So I will change them to 5, 3. Now you can see that like all these are, in, are OK, but the last number is smaller. So what I can do again is that like I can just take this pair and reduce them to 3, 3. And again, I can take this pair and reduce them to 3, 3. Now all the numbers are equal and this is a valid one. So this is a case like where you can transform it to non-decreasing order. Now if we think a bit more like if we get any number smaller than the previous one, let's say the previous one was 10. And the next one is 8 and let's say the next number is something let's say 12. Now in this case if I change this 8 to 10 means if I take this pair and change 8 to 10 then the new number numbers will be 10, 10 and 14. So you can see that like this is a valid one like whenever we get a smaller one you can just increase it by the required value. And at last, what will happen that, uh, let's say if we take the error length of anything, arbitrarily anything, so all the numbers will be equal, all the numbers will be equal, only the last number, that the last number will be either smaller or larger. Here you can see that the last number, it is larger. If I take another example, say uh, 10, 8, 12, and 6, then here uh, this 8, 12 becomes 10. 10, 14, 6. Now, if I change uh, this 14, 6 again, then 10, 10, 10, and then 2. I have reduced the last two numbers by 4. So you can see that the first few numbers always become same, and the last number that is the last digit, the last number, it will be either the uh, it will be either larger or smaller. Now, if this number is larger, then that is fine. No issues with that. If this number is larger or equal to the previous ones then there is no issue. But if the last number is smaller, then the, there is an issue. We have to check whether we can again transform the remaining array, whether it is possible or not. So let's say I consider the case 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 and the last number is 2. Now what I can do is that I can just change the, select this pair and reduce them to 2, select this pair and reduce them to 2, select this pair and reduce them to 2. So from this you can conclude that if the size of the array is odd, it is always possible to change that to a non-decreasing fashion.
but if we if we say that like the elements are like 10 10 10 10 10 2 then if I take this pair and reduce, I can reduce this pair to 2, I can reduce this pair to 2, so it will be by like 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and then 10. Again, now this is an issue. This is an issue. I can't change this number anymore. So for even cases, it is not possible. Whereas for odd cases, it is always possible. So if we take a look at the code, we can see that like what I've done is first of all, I've taken the input. Then I have checked whether the size of the array is odd or even. If it is odd, it is always possible. So I printed yes. Now the remaining cases, the size of the array is even. So for that, first of all, I have just transformed the array to make all the first n minus one elements equal. So this is a transformation. You can see that I have taken the difference and uh, added or subtracted based on that. Now at last, I will see if the last element is greater or equal to the second last element, then I will output yes. If it is not, then I'll output no because in case of even, it is not further possible to change it. Whereas in case of odd, we can always transform the array. So that was all for this solution. If you have any kind of confusion, you can uh, put your doubts in the comment section. I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you.